The Georgia Environmental Protection Division faces a judge today for the first time since getting slapped with a lawsuit over its handling of toxic air in Cobb County. Who could forget this story? CBS 46's Carolyn Ryan is live outside of the courthouse with what happened today. Carolyn. Brittany, the response to this lawsuit from top EPD officials inside that courtroom today, it left some people wondering, is this agency looking out for Georgians or are they looking out for themselves? State Senator Jen Jordan, along with residents near Sterigenics Cobb County plant, filed a lawsuit against the EPD, accusing the agency of entering into an agreement with Sterigenics unlawfully. The agreement, signed back in August, would allow Sterigenics to continue emitting a toxic gas called ethylene oxide into the air, but in a reduced capacity. The problem is they left the public in the dark when they did it. There's a rule. There's an EPD rule called the Public Participation Rule. And it exists so that the public participates in the process. And all we're really saying is very simple is that EPD, this is a significant health issue that before you entered into an order, you should have taken the public comment your own rule requires. Today in court, though, the EPD filed a motion to dismiss the lawsuit, saying they didn't have to involve the public. To me, it shows their arrogance that they really truly don't believe that the public has a role to play in any of this. Because all we're asking is that they go back and have a period for, for public comment and to take information from the public, from scientists, from whoever that might affect what they ultimately entered. They really don't lose anything. If, if we win, they just have to do it over. Which begs the question, why is the EPD fighting so hard to prevent that from happening? The action that the EPD is taking is, feels like uh, they're, they're covering their own mistakes. And the EPD declined to comment for our story tonight. Brittany? So, Carolyn, I guess the question now is, did the judge grant the EPD's request to dismiss this lawsuit or is it still a go? Yeah, no, he did not. So no action was taken in a court today, but he did ask both sides to create a document to state their case. That's due December 22nd. He'll make a decision at that time whether this lawsuit will move forward. And one other quick note, Brittany, at that time, if the lawsuit goes forward, they'll likely enter uh, a discovery phase. Well, there'll be depositions and questioning, fact finding, things like that, at which point the EPD may face tough questions about potential mishandling of this entire situation. And that leaves people wondering, maybe that's why they don't want to see this thing move forward. Back to you. All right, so a lot more to come in this story, Carolyn. Thank you so much. And we will